Jeopardy scored a new champion on Tuesday in Kat Jepsen, who pulled into second gear and won with an impressive $20.30 K. But it came at the cost of a triple stumper final Jeopardy with some cringe inducing incorrect guesses. Returning champ Robbie Ramirez, a writer from Orlando, Florida who had a one day total of $23,800, was the one to beat. He faced Kat, an artist from Virginia Beach, Virginia, and Mark Such, a theater professor from Concord, North Carolina. Kat had a dominating performance in Double Jeopardy and got both daily double clues correct. Going into Final Jeopardy, things were looking good for the newcomer with $23,800, Mark had $13,600, and Robbie had $7,400. Final Jeopardy under Nobel Peace Prize winners Re. At times they each lived on Villacazi Saint in Soweto, so it claims to be the world's only street home to two Nobel Peace Prize winners. Each contestant needed to think of the two Nobel Peace Prize winners from South Africa, in other words. C.O.U. didn't quite get there. Host Ken Jennings, 48, turned to Robbie first as he was the reigning champion. He wrote Who Are, kissing her and Merkel dropping $7,300. Mark wrote Who Are Mandela and Gandhi, wagering all of his $13,600 and losing it all. Ken comforted, I like the guess but Gandhi never won a Nobel Peace Prize he was assassinated too soon. Ken lamented as his score was white. Ah, all of it, dropping you to zero dollars but you had to do it. Finally, Kat, who sported some cool hair and loves tracking the bees and wasps in her home garden, revealed her response and wager. She was also incorrect with, who are Mandela plus Obam? Couldn't quite get there, she said with a huge shrug. But since she only wagered a safe $3,401, she came out on top with $20,399. Ken explained, you were correct on Mandela. The other anti-apartheid activist who lived in the neighborhood was Desmond Tutu. Henry Kissinger, Obama, WTF. Game show fans are excited to see how Cat will go but had to admit some of the responses offered just dumb, especially since quite a few of them did not have to do with Soweto in South Africa. One fan tweeted, I'm sorry but that final Jeopardy clue was too easy for all of them to not get it. Kissing her and Merkel, she thought Mandela and Obama lived on the same street, ever in life. On what continent? Wrote another about Cat's guess. One viewer wrote on Reddit, I was a bit surprised that FJ was a triple stumper. I hope Cat has a nice run. A second replied, more than a bit surprised here. And some of those guesses, still better to write something, but oof. A third harshly blasted, El Mal those FJ guesses. And a fourth wrote, Henry Kissinger, WTF. A sixth said, who are the only South Africans to win the Nobel Peace Prize? Jumpin' Jeepers, that was a triple stumper. One contestant whose episode is airing this week defended in the forum. There were about six or so of us in the contestant waiting area who didn't get it either. Fluctuating Final Jeopardy Clues Some fans have grumbled that Final Jeopardy Clues lately have oscillated between extremely difficult. There have been at five triple stumpers in the past 10 days per Jeopardy.com, and shockingly easy. Yesterday's Final Jeopardy read, in 1966, the year of his death, he shared plans for an experimental prototype community in Florida. Everyone was correct with Walt Disney and fans did not feel this was a fairytale ending for a quiz show episode.